Um, for those of you that are watching, good afternoon. I am Guylain Berry from Sakpase Media Live. And today we are with Jasmine Jones and uh, Christopher here at uh, Broward County. And you know that the Department of uh, Economic and Small Business Development always have some great things going on. And tomorrow, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. For those of you that are looking for new opportunities to make your business work, you'll have the good thing going on, which is helping your business do better. So Broward is listening is part of making your business work. So please, if you're watching, share this information and also bring someone with you. The goal is for you to participate but without further ado we'd like jasmine and also chris to share those information with you and why you should participate what are the programs and who will be there to help your business work ward county has enough information resources and opportunities to make your business work so the office of economic and small business development of ward county is there for you and also to make your business work so please watch attend share and please bring someone with you Broward is listening tomorrow 5 30 p.m and here's chris that's gonna give you more information about this great event but would like chris to tell us who he is and also why you should come sure <laughs> hi everybody um i'm chris atkinson i'm the assistant director of the broward county office of economic and small business development so as you heard, um, we're having an event called Broward is Listening, and that's tomorrow at 5.30 here at the Government Center. Um, if you've not joined us down here for anything recently, well, we have a lot of events down here, and if you haven't talked to Jasmine about those events, we, we need to talk to you about all the great things we're doing. But um, tomorrow at 5.30 um, and 115 South Andrews Avenue in room 422, and that's the uh, commission chambers. Um, but we are having this event, and, and really, Broward is listening. So that is what we're doing. We are having this event to hear from you, the business owner. So we really want to hear what you think and feel about what the county does as far as small business development programs is concerned, but also you know, how we approach small businesses, how we approach small business development, um, what the county does well, what the county could do better. Maybe you've had some ideas about things that we could do that we haven't really done before as far as helping out small businesses. Um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity here for us to hear from you and really perhaps even change the way that the county approaches small business development and put us on a new path to serving you in a more productive, effective way. Um, these are all things that we're looking for, but also we wanna hear about challenges you've experienced, um, frustrations that you might have with how the county does procurement, um, how it involves small businesses on county projects, or, you know, we, we've done a lot over the years, and obviously we have a well-engaged team here. And as the Assistant Director of the Office and working with Sandy Michael McDonald, our Director, I can tell you um, I'm privileged to work with, the, with our folks here. I think that they do a great job, but we need to hear it from you. Um, our business owner community um, it's the reason why we've done such a great job working through the economic downturn. I think it's the reason why Broward County is going to do great moving forward. Um, we respond to challenges in Broward County. We are a productive county. We have small businesses that come up with great ideas. Uh, we can't pretend in this office to know everything. And so Broward is listening is really an opportunity for us to hear from you and uh, get the truth on the ground, as they say about what you think. Wonderful. And um, watching soon, we're going to share some information of uh, what kind of services that they offer here oh, and how you can benefit uh, from the Office of Small Business, uh, Economic and Small Business Development of Ward County. Uh, without further ado, I think it's important for us to be part of the process, not wait till it's too late or when uh, the funds are gone and then we are complaining, oh, we are not included. So Broward County's listening is a good initiative for you that always 
always wanted to do business with Ward County or already doing business with Ward County. And now we also have Jasmine Jones that will share some other information with you um, that are doing business and would like to do business with Ward County or more business with Ward County for some of us. So Jasmine, good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon. Thank you, Gillen. Uh, we're definitely looking for um, our neighbors to the north and also to the south to come and also participate because I think that is of extreme importance. Why is that? Because oftentimes we would like to increase in terms of the amount of dollars that are actually uh, awarded to our area market. and. Um, if you if you're in Palm Beach it's just a hop away to be able to come down and work and participate and the same thing for um, Miami did as well and not only that uh, perhaps in terms of your, the growth process you know as a small business th that will allow you to understand the platform you know what Broward is doing so in case you would like to open a business and also you know have an office here so that you can capitalize and increase your your margin right gross margin profit so we really would like to invite everyone not solely people that have an office or perhaps the business owners, but we always also would like for people that even would like to go in business. So because we do have some gaps in terms of what we can offer based on the spend for Broward County. So we would like to let people don't don't be afraid like government is big business and we don't, we don't want to participate. Come and tell us, hey, I, I can provide so and so how you know does the county have a need for this and that? And we can tell you we provide the technical assistance. We do spend 60 to 90 minutes if you want to spend time with us and guess what? We provide you an earful but it's relevant information that you need so that way you can grow in terms of when you want to become a vendor register as a vendor with the county we do a lot um, we do sit in and show you in terms of historical purchases so that way you can see how to structure the bid in terms of um, the uh, maybe the the bid amount in terms of the price that um, we actually purchase it for I'm not saying that you need to mirror the same thing but it's just an idea because it kind of put at least provide your foundation in terms of you get to see all the qualifications and historical stuff, the bonding, to, you know, licensing and all this stuff. So we definitely do a great job and also share um, community partners. Um, we can certainly share the um, the uh, so make referrals in your behalf as well so that we can expand your reach in terms of that information that you may need that you don't have to pay for because some people actually have gone to attorneys mm -hmm. you know to get the certification done and, and how to do x y and z but we do have the resources among a lot of community partners that are able to do that at nominal cost and even for free so definitely we are here to assist you to um to if that's the journey that you're heading allow us to at least assist you in that journey hmm. now as a small business and they would like to be on your list of vendors uh, or to become certified because I know that you have different uh, certifications through uh, Office of Economic and Small Business Development of Ward County to be part of a federal um, government uh, uh, vendors or um, a county or state. So tell us more about what is it that you do that could help those small businesses because I know Warren do have some funds to uh, help small businesses grow but they also have good information to be qualified for the to, to be have access to those funds so uh, I don't know if it's gonna be you Jasmine or Chris answering that question well maybe I'll take a shot at answering the first part of it but I think it's important to note that this office is more than just certification it's more than just county procurement um, over the years we've really tried to expand out our services you can't look at helping a small business just as getting them certified it's like a fishing license. You've really got to go and actually fish. And some people, um, you know, really need to to uh, know what that extra step is or what that knowledge is that you need to go after public procurement or private sector contracts or whatever else. It's it's not obvious. We know for a fact that when people are approaching uh, government contracts, it takes a while. To, to learn about what's necessary to get that done and to, to become successful at getting those contract awards. We know this. And you know that sometimes when you become aware of uh, you know, approaching these different uh, procurement opportunities and solicitations, some people are very successful at it and they get a lot of contracts. And uh, we want to see more competition. <laughs> We're all about competition because that helps everybody. You got to be in it to win it. 
So we want to make sure that, uh, for instance, everybody is is bidding on these things. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to help people put in more successful bids, and, and certainly we've done workshops and training sessions on those those kind of things. So technical assistance is something that we do here in the office. And when we put out our uh, Business Assistance Weekly, for instance, which is an online newsletter, um, and uh, when you're certified, you get that, which is a, a great benefit of certification. Um, you learn more about the different things that are necessary, they're like a toolkit. And you can learn about those those really important facets and, and bits of knowledge that are the difference for businesses to become successful in getting those contracts. And then once you get a contract, then you gotta be successful in working on that contract. Because mm-hmm. we don't want a business to get a contract and have that be the worst thing that's ever happened to them. Because unfortunately we've seen that sometimes too. It doesn't need to be that way. and. Uh, there are ways that we can we can assist businesses with that as well. We have a great entrepreneurial program that goes on here. So if a, a, you got a folks that want to be a startup business or they got a great business idea, uh, we have people who can talk to them about that. They want to do business internationally. We have a great program called Fitzy that we we just got done doing, um, and uh, Commissioner Holness has been a great proponent of international trade and uh, import export and uh, international markets. This is gonna be a center of international trade for a long time to come, Broward County is. Um, We all need to embrace that because that means more opportunity, not just in Broward County procurement, it's procurement in the region, procurement in the state, nationally, and throughout the world, really. Um, Businesses in Broward County can do really well, and this is a very business-friendly county. So what do you get when you become certified with us? You get access to a great team. And it's not just people who are you know, sitting here like Jasmine who runs the community uh, relations and outreach section. You get um, folks who work with entrepreneurs, you get our certification and compliance group, but then you get all these great community partners that are um, like your team when you're a business owner. We're here to help and uh, we can't help if we don't talk to you. So we're reaching out Certification is very important. We've got our local county program, small business enterprise, county business enterprise, and then we've also got access to these great federal programs, disadvantaged business enterprise, airport concession, disadvantaged business enterprise under the U.S. Department of Transportation, and then we've got um, a lot of knowledge about other federal programs that are involved in helping small businesses. And uh, Jasmine? Well, I definitely think, aside from what uh, Chris just said, um, often times uh, small businesses yes they do have most of the ducks in a row however financing remains something that yeah, is a little tough for them so we do have um you know the economic development section Irpa Lado mm-hmm. and Stephen Tinsley that could assist you and talk to you about the 7a program you know a few of the SBA loan programs That's a great point. and yeah absolutely and also even the 504 plan because I could tell you it is there's so much information out there. So a small business is always like, oh my God, you know, there's so much stuff, where do we go? If you have a financing need, we can make an appointment. You guys can are welcome to make an appointment. Call the office, 954-357-6400. Lower. 954-357-6400. Or feel free to stop by at the 115 South Andrews and we are in the annex and it's A680, that's the room number, and we're in Fort Lauderdale. So that way you can ask and request to sit down with the, um, someone from ED, the Economic Development, and we have Rupert Lado, that will, or Stephen Tinsley, that will be able to assist you in terms of identifying and show you the variety of financing options that are available. And if we have to, once again, in terms of you know, do a referral to outside uh, banking and also for traditional and non-traditional lending, we can assist with that. And even we even do loan preparation as well. And so I think a lot, there's so much more out there that folks can, it's a lot, but we can definitely narrow it for you. Yeah, you don't right? have to become the expert on it. Absolutely. We got people here and uh, everybody, everybody's good at something. So when you ask a question, we can get you to the right people who can help you with that question. So it's, it's it can be overwhelming. <laughs> we certainly know it can be overwhelming. Yes. But you shouldn't let that stop you. Nothing should stop you as a business owner. I have a question. As people wonder, what kind of uh, services or um, product they should be selling mm. that uh, will be attracted to the county um, for them to be part of the process? 
So uh, please answer that because a lot of people, some people are attorneys, some people are, are in construction. So which co kind of business will be best to participate in the process of getting certified with a small business, with the Office of Small Business Economy? Okay, Econ Dev. <laughs> Uh, we've got our, uh, our, our uh, long name there, don't we? But, you know, and, and actually, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you two answers. I'm and I'm going to ask uh, Jasmine to answer the the question you asked, which is about what was the county by and how can you best position yourself. But as as uh, somebody who is in business, you want to make as much money as you can. And there are certain products, certain services where the market has a need, and focusing on what the county needs we want you to focus on what the county needs because that serves us, that serves the public. Obviously we have taxpayers. We wanna make sure that the interests of the taxpayers are, are covered and we're getting the best possible deal. Um, we can only do that if we're getting competition on our procurements. But as for, for uh, speaking to a business owner, from an economic development standpoint, we want them to make good business choices. And uh, you don't want to get businesses into something where there's lots and lots of businesses already or where the market is saturated. You want them to have good competitive advantage too and do something that is going to really make them um, well placed to uh, do well with what they know and what they can really accomplish. So, you know, and we're happy to talk about those things too. So I think it's, it's a two part answer. Um, it's a business specific answer how can you position yourself in the market, but then also what can you offer the county that has the best opportunity for success? And so I know Jasmine's done a lot with her group over the years about seeing what, what the county needs and what we've not been so successful in our directory in looking at and, uh, and being able to provide through certified firms. So. Absolutely. Um, in fact, over the years we have heard that, what do you buy? Well, just to let you know that well county buys everything right so we actually went and checked back five years worth of spend item and we were able to compile i wouldn't say a comprehensive list because it's a pretty it's, good list yeah, yeah it's a pretty good list at least to get you started and for items that falls under the goods and services under the construction umbrella the architectural engineering contract services as a commodity supplier and we buy from body bags to funeral homes to uh, pencils in terms of graphic design printing services services, you know, um, oh my goodness, there's um, herbicide yeah, um, right providers and also janitorial services, security guards, it goes on and on and on. Even as, as uh, people love to take like photographs, right? Uh, but one that is very hard for us to fulfill is aerial photography. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you're kind of scared of, a, you know, going on a plane, and you can perfect and enhance what you provide as a photographer to provide aerial photography. So I'm just, we, we can provide you what that is. You certainly are welcome to go to our website so you can see the comprehensive list. We're constantly updating that list, of course, because uh, we're trying to make sure that our, our uh, small firms, <clears throat> excuse me, are able to at least fulfill some of these gaps because um, average over the past three years, we can tell you that um, the county has spent over 500 million, and about average 550 million dollars, um, and we have the small businesses that have been able to be awarded about an average over 45 to 50 million dollars a year. That's still significant, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. I think we can do better. Well, we can do better. We can definitely do better, especially with the the, the uh, breadth and scope of Correct. what our small business community does, because we know that like 90 percent of our businesses in Broward County are small they amount to 50% of all employment in this county. I mean, there's no reason why we can't do more with our small businesses. And I think the reason why is because um, we need to increase our awareness. A lot of folks don't, I guess for whatever reason or not, they still a little reluctant in doing business with the county because they think the county buys in such a large volume. Guess what we're responsible to do? To break it down, mm -hmm. to de unbundle the service of what the county wants without obviously the, you know the integrity of what they're trying to buy um, but in insurance and everything else but we can actually do unbundle the projects and we have we've yeah, successfully we've done, done so you know in construction work and also for the provider um, for the goods and services so we can do you know a whole lot of stuff we just want to make sure that people are not afraid and come and listen and participate and be empowered to at least say you know what let me go ahead and see what the county has to offer because not only the county and also the, the municipal 
municipalities. That's right. And there are over, you know, 30 of them. So that means the opportunity is really, really, truly grand. And when you succeed in Broward, definitely the opportunity to go beyond in terms of exporting opportunities. A lot of people say, well, I don't want to export. But if maybe if you do want to, you might want to go ahead and try and attend one of these export readiness classes that's mm -hmm. going to be happening in December 5th through the night. So that way you can understand what, what it's all it's about. So from there, you will teach you all the expertise. And we do have the international trade Paola Isaac, that's really good at what she does, mm -hmm. and she will get you ready in terms of make sure that you are able to provide. Because sometimes they ask for healthcare uh, products. You know, how would you not? And we know that we have people, small businesses that actually are can provide, are providing. There are resellers or distributors from from the larger manufacturers. Or if if you're not, maybe you need to become a reseller or a distributor for a large um, um, manufacturer to provide the services and so and so forth. And that's allowed because you can resell it overseas and do all even to the county. Um, so. And if that sounds a little yes. like, wow, I, I might not be comfortable with that. Yeah, you do have to walk outside your comfort zone a little bit. <laughs> but I, I have um, sat in some of those sessions and I, I know that she, Paola, who's, who's amazing, if yes. you want to talk about anything related to international trade, um, she brings in the right people. She brings in customs people to talk about customs roles. She brings in people who work with the state on international yes. trade missions. Um, like I say, we have the right people. <laughs> so if you're willing to walk outside your comfort zone and talk about some of those opportunities, you might find that you're you're also walking that walk as much as as the people who are already successful in those fields are doing. So I think it's a really great opportunity for small businesses. Um, what and Chris for the work that you're doing here at uh, Ward County uh, Small Business Economic Development and for the people that are watching a lot of times they hear you they uh, know about the, the um, the department they know about what's being offered but they feel reluctant like is my business big enough is my business staff enough is my business known enough or do I have enough money to benefit from what this office of small business is of economic and small business development is offering in Ward County so um, there, there are a lot of people that are kind of reluctant because they're like oh the paperwork is so uh, it's a it's so big it's it's a lot and I'm only a one woman or one man show if you understand what I'm saying um, a lot of times people are kind of reluctant to to see how much work they have to do before they become certified with you and and I know that you have a department that can help them uh, with the process of getting certified mm -hmm. so share this information with us before we finish because I know that there are a lot of things that will be happening this coming fis this fiscal year. Yep. So the end of um, 2016 and 2017, Ward County is doing a lot, especially with small businesses. So if you're watching, please get involved. And Jasmine and Chris will definitely share some information about how you can receive information on a regular basis to get your business certified, known, and also prosperous in 2017. So Chris. How can people become certified? Because it looks like the process can be well. And 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 if you if you've approached our certification program, you know you have to fill out an application, and it's a it's a government application. You got to provide documentation, and that you can't let that stop you. I mean, you, the first step really is you got to ask. You got to come in. You got to talk to us. You got to tell us about your firm. Um, tell us you want to get certified. Uh, you have our number. 954-357-6400. That's Once the best. again. 954-357-6400. And that is the best place to start. Because I can give you the website too. Broward.org slash econdev. E-C-O-N-D-E-V. That's the best place to go for that. You can find out about our programs. But if you want to talk to a person about certification and about county opportunities and about all the various programs and what the county has available for a firm that does what your firm does, best place to start is a phone call. 
because if you have a concern about filling out an application, if you've got a concern about documentation requirements, we can answer those. You shouldn't be worrying about writing emails and whether or not we're going to respond to them. We do. <laughs> but you shouldn't worry about that. You should um, call and get an answer because we're here to help you. I mean, that's honestly what we're here for. Uh, we have a very progressive commission as a county that understands business. Um, if there's one thing that I've learned in the time that I've been here is that they get it. They understand our program. They understand small businesses. A lot of them have been small business owners over the years. Um, they understand. And they've been in the spot that a lot of small business owners have been in. They've felt that worry about whether or not you're going to be able to make payroll. You know, and that's something that you really can't explain to people unless they've lived it. So that's why we have a, an Office of Economic and Small Business Development. It's not because it's the, you know, counties this size have one. It's because a county this size needs to be a business-friendly area. We need to have businesses that succeed. So if you want certified, come and get certified. Call us up. We can work with you on the process. If you're interested in federal certification, it's not our application. I wish I could make it easier for you. <laughs> I've read it. I've read a lot of them over the years, and I understand how um, arduous it can, can, it can seem, but uh, you don't have to fill it all out in one day, but you, you do have to get started, and you have to take that first step. And I think that that's a big part of success, is uh, be willing to take that first step. Don't get in front of yourself and make it so you can't succeed. And so don't, you know, be your, be your best friend. Don't be your own worst enemy. Yes. Thank you, Jasmine. And if I may add, um, you know, Sandy Matt McDonald, the director, um, has empowered, you know, CRO, the Community Relations and Outreach Section, to in fact to um, also provide uh, education so we can educate and by way of what's happening um, about the county's um, programming services and also what we have here as well, you know, ESBD, but also training. So one of the training that we, component that we offer is how to complete your certification. Yep. And that will be for both the local program and also the federal program. And also we sit you down um, up to 50 firms and we just go ahead and roll up our sleeves and we answer every qu you know question from beginning to the end so when you walk out you can have a completely good guy so you could actually just pencil it in while Abs you're sitting there absolutely yeah and then the good thing about it is also our forms even though like the federal program and the application is it is lengthy but guess what it's fillable we made it fillable so so that way we were able to assist you can start it and you can save it as chris mentioned and most of all if once you certify what do you do with that certification so we provide we have a robust training in fact we did such a good job in the past few years that we have received a NACO award because of the fact that we've listened so the small businesses and also to the um, aspiring entrepreneurs and people have recognized what we've done and the quality of the training that we provide. So we have plenty of, of uh, training um, and also for business development workshops already scheduled. So feel free to go on the website, which is the brow.org slash ecomdev to learn more about it. But we are here to help. If you have any hesitation whatsoever, definitely the 954-357-6400 is the right place to start. And uh, apropos for what we're talking about for yes. tomorrow night, you know, mm -hmm. in addition to, uh, to to doing all that training and, and trying to assist, you know, we are here to listen. So if you do find uh, mm -hmm. that you're not able to come to the event tomorrow, we have a couple of more events coming up in April and August, but if you find that you're encountering some kind of a challenge or some kind of a concern, uh, that phone number works. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've seen it work over the years. If you're encountering an issue, we are here as a small biz business advocacy organization. We work for small businesses. It is our day job. And so um, a business owner who is encountering a problem should not hesitate to give that number a call. Yes. And uh, great information for those that are watching. And we also have Mayor Mason that sent his regards. And he said, Boward has the one of the best small business teams. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's a great um, thing for you, for this office to be doing the work that you are doing in the community and also helping small business owners get more information, resources, and uh, preparing them for prosperity. Well, he's um, been a tireless advocate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs>
<laughs> yes. Um, so since uh, we are approaching the end of this segment here, uh, I'd like you, uh, I don't know who wants to start first to give your last word and also information to participate at the forum tomorrow before we end this se session. Well, I just wanted to um, to say thank you so much for the opportunity to, to uh, I feel like I'm actually talking to small business owners yes. and it's been great. Um, but really the opportunity tomorrow is, um, you know, we're gonna say a few words and and uh, you know, I'm sure uh, our director, Sandy Michael McDonald, will say a few words about our program and, and sort of cover some of the bases that I've, I've covered here today. But really it is an opportunity to hear from the community and uh, we will not, um, we will not talk over anybody. We're going to uh, hear those those things. We want to obviously be able to address any concerns on the spot, but to the extent that those are, are observations from a business owner that we need to go away and deal with, we want to hear those too. I mean, this is an open mic, so um, we want to encourage business owners to, to let us know what's going on um, from their perspective and, and give us the truth as they see it. So uh, again, I, my thanks for uh, anybody who's listening and uh, we hope um, uh, to see some great turnout tomorrow night. Yes. Justin? Well, certainly I also want to say thank you as well. Um, I really would like for folks to know that they are empowered to, if they wish not to maybe ask their questions on site, they're welcome to forward us their Absolutely. questions by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, and you could feel free to send that as jasjones at broward.org. J A S J O N E S at Broward.org so that way we can ask those questions in your behalf because I know sometimes people are a little shy. Sure. And but however, you know what, we'll take it as you come. But definitely we would like for you guys to be part of the change you would like to see. Yeah, be involved and stay involved. That's yes. It. Be involved and stay be involved. involved. Very much for all the information that you have provided, Chris and Jasmine Jones. And uh, you were what you've been watching, <laughs> Sakpasi Media Live. My name is Gillen Berry. And uh, for more information, advertising, or if you have a business that you'd like to promote on our network, you can always contact us at sakpasimedia.com. Sakpasimedia.com. And um, Jasmine, you know. <laughs> Mayor Mason and also Shannon Neret send their regards. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And thank you.